YouTube, what's going on? This your boy Mike Burford right here coming at you with another video. This video is about how to become a minimalist. I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong. Minimalist. Okay, my definition how it works is you can either get rid of your things that you don't need or just stop buying shit you don't need first and foremost if you have that try to wipe it up wipe it out as soon as possible paying it off if you have a good job good paying job or even if you don't whatever you do just try to do the best that you can with it and try to save majority of your paychecks You know, I said to my wife once, do you mind living in a van? You know, just to be joking. And, you know, and just work. Just work so we can have money. All we got to do is put gas in the car. You know, just as a joke. But the reality is, just imagine life without a lot of bills. And you're stress free. It can really happen. But it also depends on you. Don't let the TV. Gas your head. Thinking we need all of these things. That they present to us. You know to, to. Make us think. Without those things. Our life doesn't mean anything. Real in real reality is you really don't need all that stuff. It all depends on you. Because you can have all those things and still be unhappy. You know, just be thankful for what you have. And the rest will follow. Just do whatever you feel is right, the things that you feel. You need for you and your family. I have a 15 year old son. And I'm about to have a newborn. And I'm very blessed and thankful for that. And now I'm really trying to uh, figure out ways how to make money for my, me and my family. Through my business which is Creative Control Media. That's on my YouTube intro page. Life is not easy, but it's for you to decide. Again, a minimalist, in my opinion, you don't have to get rid of everything, but just get rid of the things that you really don't need and put your money in, into wise places and wise things. Because, you know what, I honestly feel like if you're a man or a woman that doesn't really like to spend money and you're cheap, like if you're really, really cheap, if something was supposed to happen, you're going to use that money anyway. And the money, when you, after you use it, it's not easy to get back. But when you save money and plan to do the right things with the money as far as investing. You can be cheap and invest. You know, it's one thing you could be you could be cheap and invest. You can become a real estate uh investor instead of blowing your money on sneakers and and so on and so forth, clothes and big houses and all that. What you can do is actually put it into real estate and just buy properties. Put your money other places where you can create financial freedom for you and your family. You know, that's a part of being a minimalist in my opinion also. Stop spending money on stupid things that you don't need to spend your money on. It's just my thoughts. YouTube, I'm out. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. This is Mike Burford, and I'm out.